pools and pool covers are awesome. The problem with pool covers is they're a pain to take on and off and sometimes it's a two person job. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install a pool roller that'll make taking it on and off really easy and a one person job. Now the kit that we went with is a kit from Vingley and it's nice because it adjusts to different size pools and the entire thing is removable if you want it completely out of the way. There is some assembly required but it's not too tough. You should be able to get this done in about 30 minutes. Now you're going to start by assembling the stands and the crank arms itself and that involves just screwing the base into the crank arm. Once you do one side then you repeat the exact same process on the other side. Now I will have links down in the description below for this pool cover kit and all of my other pool cover videos if you want to check them out for yourself. Once the cranks are assembled, it's time to assemble the pole that the pool cover is going to reel up on itself. And this, you have some adjustment in this depending upon how wide your pool is. It comes in several aluminum sections. Aluminum's nice because it won't rust, but these things sleeve together. And then there's two screw options to put them together. When you put it together the first time, you're going to want to use the smaller screws. This makes it really easy to adjust. And I'm going to show you how we're going to secure it a little bit better a little later on in the video. Once the poles are assembled, the poles then sleeve onto the crank ends with a single screw. Now with that all together, it's time to test fit it on the pool. So we're gonna take it over the pool and actually lay it on the edges of the pool. And remember those little screws that we put in before, you can loosen those up and adjust the actual width of the pole a little bit to get it exactly right, depending on the frame and the shape of your pool. Now it does also come with a no drill adapter if you have a framed pool that uses either the tubes or the more rounded edges. We have the flat ones, so we're actually gonna be drilling it in. So to drill it in, once we have the locations exact, we mark them with a Sharpie, then we move the base out of the way and we drilled the holes. Now the holes are quarter inch holes, but you probably wanna use a smaller drill bit to drill a pilot hole and then use the quarter inch drill bit to drill the final hole. The base is then secure in place with the included hardware. Now this step is optional, but I do recommend it. The screws that it came with are short little screws that are not gonna do the best job securing it. So once you have everything set at the correct dimensions, use the self-tapping screws to really secure the poles together. The straps to pull the pool cover up secure to the pole with Velcro. And when you put these on, make sure you put them on the top and in an orientation where when you crank the pool cover, it'll actually tighten down on these and won't undo the Velcro. The straps attach to the pool cover using these nylon clips. The nylon clips fold around the pool cover and snap on, and there is actually a little post that goes through the pool cover to give it a really good connection. Once the nylon clips are in place, now the strap can be run through the clip and tightened down, and you're all set. The only thing left to do is some adjustment. Now, if you're installing this on an oval pool and not a rectangular pool, the straps may not be long enough. So I did extend the straps and I do have linked down below the strap kit that I used. It's just a couple of bucks and I just paired it on there and extended them out. And then you will have to do a little bit of adjustment with all three straps or five straps, depending on how big your pool is, to get everything to roll up correctly. And that's all there is to it. Now all you have to do is give it a crank. And sometimes when you first crank it up, you're gonna have to guide it a little bit to get it evenly around the roller. But once you get going, it'll go fine. And you can get the whole pool cover off in about 10 seconds. Now an added nice feature of this is you can actually unclip the feet really easily and move this whole thing off the pool for a better, cleaner look. So I hope this video helped you out. I do have some other videos all about pool covers, the pros and cons of pool covers. And I'm gonna have one soon where I test a bunch of different kinds of pool covers to see which one works best. Now this video did help you out. Please hit that subscribe button because that new video on pool covers is going to be coming out really soon give me a big thumbs up let me know what kind of stuff around the house you're working on down in the comments so i can make a video just for you and of course thanks for watching